So today I'm going to try to explain a principle that I think is pretty cool. It's called the rolling shutter effect, and it's responsible for the warping that you may have encountered in videos like this one. Or check out this video of me riding my motorcycle. Notice how the windshield looks like it's vibrating or warping in slow motion. Or this video of my friend Mac and his plane. Notice how the propellers look like they're bent. And later on, they just don't even look like propellers at all. And here's a really cool video of someone who put their iPhone inside their guitar. Are the strings really vibrating in slow motion? I think first I need to explain another principle called aliasing, because these two principles almost go hand in hand. You may have noticed that sometimes in videos, car wheels look like they're rolling in slow motion, stopped, or even rolling backwards. This is because of aliasing. Here's a weird example of aliasing. The props on this helicopter don't even look like it's spinning. This is because the frame rate of the camera is matched perfectly to the speed at which the props are spinning on the helicopter. I'll explain this further in a bit. In this video, these water droplets are falling at a certain frequency. A strobe light is then flashed on and off in the background with a frequency just a little bit smaller than the frequency of the water droplets. The resulting effect makes the water droplets look like they're falling in slow motion. And I'm sure you've all seen this really cool video by Brustbot. And here's a really cool demonstration video by Destin from Smarter Every Day. Click the video to check it out. Here we can see the rim of a tire rolling in very slow motion. Now let's pretend every flash that you see is a video camera taking a picture. Notice how with every picture taken, the spoke on the rim is a little bit behind where the last spoke on the rim was when the last picture was taken. Now most cameras will take these pictures at about 30 times per second, so let's speed this up to see what this looks like. Now the wheel is spinning very fast in the counterclockwise direction, but it looks as though it's spinning slowly in the clockwise direction, and this is aliasing. Here in a similar example, we can see water droplets falling slowly, except now every flash represents a strobe light instead of a picture being taken by a camera. And now as we speed time up, we can see a similar effect to that of the rim. Even though the droplets seem like they're falling very slowly, they're actually falling very fast. And this is because the frequency of the strobe light is a little bit slower than each drop. If you happen to change the frequency of the strobe light, you can make the droplets look like they're hovering in midair or even floating upwards. So how does this relate to the rolling shutter effect? Most digital cameras nowadays take pictures in strips along the screen rather than taking one picture as a whole. For example, in this video, the strips are being taken horizontally across the screen. The problem with this method is when an object or a landscape is being moved across the screen very fast. The object or landscape will be in one location when the camera takes one strip of the picture, but then, by the time the next strip of the image is taken, the object or landscape will be in a different location, and this will result in a warped image. And this explains the slow motion rippling of the windshield and the guitar strings, and also explains the bending of this propeller. I'm going to demonstrate this effect using this LED. This LED, you can't tell, but it's flashing on and off extremely fast, and I can change the frequency with this little knob here. But look what happens when I put the LED right up to the camera. You can now see lines moving slowly across the screen, and this shows how the camera is taking pictures of the LED and changing the knob. I can change the frequency and make these lines speed up, slow down, and go the other way.